another episode of Animator Interviews. My name is Evan Vernon. I'm a contributor at Animation for Adults, as well as Animation Nights New York, also known as Annie. If you're new to Annie, we are a monthly screening event and yearly festival that celebrates the very best in animation talent. Our artists come from all across the globe, and many have gone on to have their work featured at Cannes and other prominent festivals. We have a special guest today. I'm joined now by Turkish animator Yunus Yildiz. Yunus earned his animation degree from Andalou University in 2019 and currently works as a concept artist and character designer in the games industry. His animated short, The Hands, is one of 12 films being featured at our April screening. We've got an outstanding lineup this month, and The Hands is no exception. This dark but necessary film takes place in a post-war wasteland. A lone man runs through the destruction. He is tired, afraid, and relentlessly pursued by a pair of ghostly hands. Nothing appears to be left of his world. Nothing, that is, except for one tiny red shoe. It's the last bit of color he has in his life, and he clings to it desperately. The Hands is a short film, but it's grave, Heart-wrenching imagery says more about war in three minutes than many films say in an hour. Today, Eunice has given us a rare chance to explore this powerful short and the inspiration behind it. Eunice, thanks again for coming. We want to talk about the film, but I'd like you to step back for a moment and take us on your journey. What drew you to animation? How did you enter the industry? I started like uh, I already in when I was in high school, I was in art school and uh, then in that time, my teachers like recommend uh, animation studios, uh, animation schools. And uh, I applied to animation school and uh, I won. It's like they have like uh, an exam for starting there. And uh, after that, and I studied there, and uh, we took a lot of like different uh, style of animation there. We learned so many programs there. I've, I I study like five years there. And th- this was at Andalou University, is is that correct? That's Andalou correct. University. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. So you attended school. Did you have any sort of um, heroes or influences growing up that made you want to get into animation? I have heroes, actually. I have two heroes. And uh, one of them, like uh, Robert Foley. Uh, one of the other ones is uh, Sergio Pablo. I, I pick, they, they are my heroes because, uh, you know, they have so interesting art. They have so, so their, their animation is so different. It's so unique from the other animations. Uh, like they have like, they're making like traditional art, traditional animation, but it's not like flat colors. It's not like, it's kind of like 3D, but it's not 3D. That's why I just, it's for me is unique. I'm sure that a lot of our listeners are familiar with both of those artists, um, especially yeah. Pablo's. Just, I know that Klaus is Klaus. probably his most famous work came out recently, but you're absolutely right, Eunice. Um, you see that kind of hybridized style with directors like that. That's very interesting and sets them apart. I'd like to go ahead and talk about uh, your your thesis film at Andalou, The Hands. Really gripping story. What inspired you to make this film? When I was a master, I studied also master and uh, I work on a surrealism Mm -hmm. in that time. Like they took me so much stuff from surrealism also in the, in the film, they have like, for example, in the hand, there's some ends uh, enter the like from the ha- hands. I took from I took this idea from the Salvador Dali film. He has he has also kind of like that things. Uh, it means like when somebody is dead, his ends is coming from that. It's it's his dreams, but I just took from that. I took that part from my film and uh, how 
how this idea came and when I was kid and uh, I've grown up from the east of Turkey actually and that area like so many like trouble actually it's like war is like politics stuff kind of that it's affect to me in that time like that's why I just create kind of that film it's uh, film telling a, a trauma like a trauma a trauma of a man and that's why it's effect to me like kind of I create that film yeah <clears throat> absolutely Eunice I mean it doesn't really matter where you are in the world I think that everybody has something unfortunately that they can relate to when when they watch this uh, war is universal right whether it's in the Middle yeah. East or or elsewhere in the world it's sad to say but that's the, the universality of what you're talking about is probably what makes this film so gripping there are a lot of moving symbols in this so you have the hands that are following this man around yeah. and then this this um this red shoe that he's uh, clinging to very possessively, almost as if his life depends on it, that he hangs on to this shoe. Tell us a little bit uh, about these symbols. What were you trying to convey? Uh, actually, this man, he, he lost all her, his family mm. and he tried to find them like in the foggy places, like that he tried to find to them. And uh, when, the, when he grabbed to like this shoe, and uh, it was like his daughter, daughter shoe. Huh. And in that time, when he tried to save this shoe, he's he's happy. He's so happy when uh, he found her girl, his girl. And uh, in that time, some black hands, like dark hands, took him into the war. All like all dark hands is like took him like in the war. And uh, in that time, he tried to like he like lost her, uh, his daughter whole family and also his dad in that time <laughs> yeah 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 that makes a lot of sense when you say that well yeah. I, i'll be honest when I, when I first saw the film i wasn't really quite sure what to make of the shoes mm -hmm. but i almost wanted to cry as i was watching it because <laughs> i i could feel no really i i could feel this this sense of loss and sadness just kind of emanating from the man and from mm -hmm. the film so even though there's no dialogue, even though everything that you convey is unsaid, you do it very well. And I'm sure for anyone else who's who's seen the the short, have moved a lot of people with this. So it, it, thank you so much for sharing, Eunice. It really is uh, something special. I know you're a young artist. I think you've been working in the industry for about about seven years now. Yeah, it's yeah. eight and seven years. Seven yeah. Eight. Yeah. So, you know, you see films like this that you've already put out at such a young age. Consider all that you're doing right now in the industry as um, a character designer for the games industry. Where do you see yourself in the future in an ideal world? Where would you like to be 10, 20 years down the line? My goal, I want, I don't want to focus somewhere, but I want to work a big project, a kind of like I, I told you before my heroes like Sergio Pablo's mm -hmm. films kind of like Klaus for example yeah like and really in in that place I want make like background back, background is awesome like really it's uh, maybe Netflix projects for example like Robert Valley has in Love That and Robots a Zima mm -hmm. Blue it's for it's kind of like that project is make me happy I actually, my goals is like kind of this, not uh, like working at Pixar, working at like Disney. Okay, it's so good. But really, I want like a like kind of that project. So maybe, yeah. maybe something still kind of in the um, <clears throat> in the European sphere. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not in America. <laughs> it's, it's encouraging to hear you say that though. You know, all respect to major studios in America like Disney, DreamWorks and Pixar, but there is something very magical about the animation that's coming from people like you and people like Pablos and people uh -huh. within Central 
Eastern, Western Europe. So I, I certainly hope that dream comes true because um, you, you do really, no, you really do have a, a unique voice to Eunice and it'd be thank nice so to see that voice in a feature length project. Well, Eunice, thank you so much for sharing your work. Uh, for all those tuning in, if you'd like to follow Eunice in the future, we'll include all his uh, relevant social media handles in the interview description. Eunice, is there, is there anything else you'd like to share with us before we wrap up today? Thank you so much for make with me like interview and uh, sharing my art. That's all. It's been a pleasure to experience your art, Eunice. From Annie's perspective, we certainly hope that you send us more short films in the future because this really was a powerful piece. So all the best to you in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you.